Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Hypermind Modded Play in the FTB Revelation Mod Pack here in Modded Minecraft 1.12. How's everyone doing? Hope you're doing well. Hey, we're still progressing towards advanced rocketry and getting into space. And to do that, we need to get some better organization. We need to automate some of these tedious processes that I've been doing manually for quite some time. So if you'd like to see how I've done some of the automated ore processing and and a little bit better of a mob farm. Uh, stay tuned after the break. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, I am surveying the area here and I'm, I'm hiding a little bit of a change from you that I need to bring into view here soon, but that's right, we're going to be taking a look at what I've done for some initial, initial automated ore processing. And this is for the fortunable ores, okay? So I'm pretty excited about it. And uh, hopefully it gives you some ideas of some things to do for your own. Uh, the first big change is this monstrosity. I think we're at, this is the tier five? Yes. Tier five. And so we're working our way up. We need a lot of, I don't know why we need RF. Maybe it's just I'm... I'm, I'm, uh, maybe I don't need it. Anyway, I just wanted to build a bigger solar panel. And so we did the tier five. I initially made the tier five controller, not really knowing what was involved on the tier five structure frames. Yeah, each of those requires a nether star. And I don't have an automated nether star factory here on FTB Revelation. I don't have one in Direwolf 20 either. I, I just don't have one. And I had to manually place 48 withers for this. Now I didn't, I didn't manually kill them. I used a Draconic Evolution Mob Grinder, but, but there we go. Anyway, that uh, took quite some time. But our ore processor, our ore miner, is doing quite well, and so we had plenty of resources. It's just the Nether Stars. Oh my goodness. Anyway, before we go to tier six, though, I am definitely going to invest in an automated wither killing machine. So the big change here, instead of using my beloved power cells, which have a very limited transfer rate, I've gone with flux plugs, and these don't have a transfer rate. And so we are able to generate, what, 475,000 RF a tick. Yeah, the power cells, even putting five all the way around here, was getting 25,000 RF a tick. So uh, I've, I've gone with a flux plug. And you might be wondering, where is that going to? Well, uh, we're, we're going to see that in just a bit. I've also moved my elevator block let's go down here just one level okay over here not much change but over here i've started clearing some things out yep yep so a lot of these have have gone by the wayside and you can see kind of the progression that's gone most of the ingots are gone and most of the mob drops are gone there's a few mob drops here but that's just because i've got the keyed thing and you know it's kind of buggy with when it shows and when it doesn't so uh, yeah, I think most of that. Any mob drops here are, uh, they're kind of half there and half not. So next up is the void resource miner blocks and then all of the farming stuff. That's going to be between now and the next time we're together. So additionally up here, I think last time I had already pulled out that mob farm. We've moved that and it took me quite some time to figure out what to do for that. But I think I've come up with something here. So get ready, get ready. I'm, I'm going to do like this, okay? And, and we've got a little bit of a change here. I've gotten rid of all of my uh, all of my torches here on this floor, but here we go, okay? I've started, I split the whole thing, uh, this whole level into rooms. We've got uh, a room over here, and this shows ore processing that's going to be there, and then uh, and then we've got um, ore processing storage here and then over here is where the void resource miner stuff is going to go right here you can see we've also gotten started with some ae2 or applied energistics 2 we've got a basic me system going it does not connect to anything so right now it's just a place for me to do some crafting down here but eventually we are going to be connecting that up to this storage that storage that storage and then the farming storage which is going to go over somewhere in there okay over here is the mob farm, uh, right? It's a cursed earth mob farm there on the bottom. We're using mob grinding utilities 
and embers and uh, industrial foregoing and then some RF tools to control those restarbed mob spawners right there. And then the control for that is down below one floor. So just to give you uh, what I want to do is uh, before we go down there, I want to lay out the plan here. So you, you're kind of with me, you're tracking with me. And if you've got any ideas for it, feel free to drop those in the comment section down below. So uh, this, this room right here and this room right here, I'm intending on those being uh, some kind of hidden machinery type stuff, behind the scenes type stuff. You can see a little bit right here. Um, I, I don't need these machines to be out front and center, but I kind of just put them there for now. We'll see what happens long term. But over here is going to be the ore processing. We've still got to get the pulverized ores and the smeltable ores. We've got to put those in here. And then we've got this thing right here. We've got uh, a builder and a builder. So this one's got a shape card in it. And this one's got a shape card in it. Let's do the support preview mode right there. Is that doing? Oh, I think we're not being as efficient as we can. So let's look here. That's a solid. Huh. Okay, whatever. Um, yeah, it looks like. It looks like it is not solid right there. So anyway, we don't need the support preview mode. And if you look over here the, with the shape card, it's doing the same thing. It's building a box right there like that it's that let's see five times five right it's a five by five by five box that's 125 so it reports that it's 125 blocks so maybe the preview is just broken so anyway i need to show you that which means i probably need to get a couple of stacks of items and we've got some fortunable ores up here but i have turned off my void ore miner for the time being because it's just doing too well that honestly it's just it's working too well i've got way more stuff than i already need but you know it's just nice to have tons of stuff coming in that's it's a far cry from from other modded series that i've done but what we do is we put our emerald ore here and we can just go like that all right so it builds that uh, that square or that cube and then we have this one all the items are going to go into that inner chest see done and it's almost processed goes over into here not that one it goes uh no not not into that one so right now this has to get smelted which means that i still need some processing to do but we don't need those running right now because that generates server side lag uh, we've got plenty of items over here what we're working towards is emerald upgrades and avoid upgrade on all of these every one of these storage drawers emerald that's what six emerald upgrades let's see and avoid upgrade on each one. Yeah, so we're going to do that for the ore and the resources and all mob drops and everything. So over here, we're going to have uh, the farms, the cloches. I might put an animal farm over here. Of course, I might also put it in there, maybe make another couple of disturbed mob spawners, mostly to get beef. That's really all I need it for. And then maybe a tree farm over here. And then I don't know what else we need here. If you've got some ideas, feel free to drop that in the comment section down below. And then I think maybe on one more floor up, then we'll start our, our advanced rocketry stuff. But let's go down here real quick. You can see we've got some major change going on. I've upgraded maybe, I think this is the tier four. I, well, it is, the, I know it's the tier four, but I think I didn't have the tier four last time. And I've, I've just disabled the power, moved the power thing over here. Um, so we're not getting any new stuff in. It's um, interesting. I don't even know what's what's that doing. It doesn't know what it's doing. Hmm. Yeah, anyway, we might have a, a little bit of a problem there. And then over here, I have made a tier 7 draconic storage ball that we are currently... 68% uh, full on. We've got negative 6 RF a tick, and it's probably because the sun is down and my solar panel is not working. But take a look at this bug right here. RF tools, power cells, they and the Draconic Energy Ball are fighting for the Z index. Isn't that great? Love it. Anyway, over here, this 
this wiring mess right here. It's not as bad as it could be, I guess, but this is the mob farm. And we're using the XNet mod. It's by the same author of RF Tools, Mick JD. He's he's made this. It's uh, it's quite interesting. It's it's like a spiritual successor to Steve's factory manager, but it's uh, I, I guess it's a little bit more friendly on the server. But what we've do we've got these connectors on the top of everything, and they can attach to any sorts of inventory. So items, liquids, and uh what else rf right there and even energy so i've got a connector right there and this thing is feeding energy into our two our two machines that require energy and that's this mob crusher and then the mob slaughter factory on the other side and then we've got redstone receivers on a bunch of different channels and right now they are hooked up to these transmitters right here eventually i'm going to move them into a screen controller up top and then we can control them from there. And then uh, we've got the receivers right here pointing into redstone proxies that then control uh, our program right here. So uh, there's there's other mods out there or other videos out there for overviews of how this works. I had to watch a couple. TKH Gaming has one and then Direwolf20 has one as well. So if you want to take a look at those, I'll put links to their uh, overviews in the description box below if I remember. If I don't remember... Uh, just just give me a heads up that I've forgotten it. But if you go here, we've got a channel for power, one for items, one for fluids, and one for logic. And the logic is the redstone stuff. So uh, whenever I flip a switch on the transmitter over there, it it activates something over here. And then we've got uh, over here on the redstone receiver, I've got them named here. So whenever we come in here, if the redstone sensor is reading higher than zero it's going to output a color of white and then if we go over to uh, say this item vacuum if if we've got white the item vacuum is going to be enabled when the white color is being um, being enabled or is uh, being output and then otherwise it's not going to be on so the items i've got the item vacuum always on whenever the farm is on I've got the mob crusher on whenever the farm is on. And then we can alternatively, it's not the most efficient. We can turn on the mob crusher, mob slaughter factories separate, but uh, you know, those um, we still have the mob fans turn on as well to move everything towards the center. And it's not the most efficient for getting pink slime or liquid meat, but who really cares? Uh, the mob grinder is sufficient for that. So, all in all, I think um, that's, that's kind of what we've done for the automated mob farm. We've still got a little bit of work to do, like this right here. We don't want to have to throw these switches all the time. We want to be able to just hit something on uh, on a screen. Nope, too far. So maybe a screen controller on this wall right here, and then the mobs just come pouring out. We'll eventually have full walls here. I'm not going to put windows there, and I'm not set on this laboratory. But I don't like this one. If we take a look here, how about this? I'll show you why I don't like it. Let's get the dotted panel. Watch this. See that? It changes it to a vertical stripe. I don't like that at all, so we're going to be getting rid of that. I want something clean. This is a laboratory. I want it to look clean and have a consistent flat look. So I don't know. Maybe we'll go. At, this is the flooring right here. So maybe we'll try some other block, but I don't know. We're still working on the aesthetics here, but uh, I did want to come in and get a feel for how this whole floor plan is going to go. So let me know what you think in the description box below. Uh, from now until the next time, I'm going to be continuing on the ore processing over here. We will uh, let's uh, let's do the support preview mode. So we'll probably put the pulverizers along this wall and then the smelting along this wall. And then I still need to uh, finish or hook up the resource miner and you can see this right here what I've done is I've got uh, you know we've got the control drawer controller right there and then we've got drawer slaves right here and then we've got impulse item ducts coming out of these ender chests so I'm gonna put one of these ender chests uh, I think it's light gray white light gray over on here and that's gonna feed into the resource mining uh, items and then over here we've got uh, what is this? L gray, 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 all the way across. And so that's getting fed 
from here directly with, uh, I've got filters on there. So the lithrite, all the crystals go directly in there and then everything else goes to, or the fortunable stuff goes into this one. And I don't think there's any other fortunable ores that are in here. Uh, glowstone needs to go directly into here. So let's do that. Yeah, there we go. Uh, that should get picked up automatically. Yes, yes it did. Excellent, okay. So we've taken care of that. So a little, little something off. Yep, okay. Everything else I think needs to go into either stores like the Energized Netherrack or Oil Sand, Destabilized Redstone, stuff like that, or into Pulverizing. So I'm going to be taking care of that off camera between now and next time. We're also going to hook up the AE2 or the ME system. And let's turn this thing off. We don't want to be leaving things running that we don't need right now. But so we'll get this thing fully done and I'll probably have our farming, farming area, farming storage, which might go over here, have that set up as well. So uh, we should be fully moved out, at least of the storage of this by the next time we're together. And then all of this mess, I expect to be gone next time. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this little tour of what what has been going on you know what let's go down to this level since this is where we're actually going to be doing the rest of our time together here on this server uh, hopefully you enjoyed this walkthrough of what i'm doing if you have any questions if i glossed over something you'd like to know more feel free to hit me up in the comment section down below if i can answer it in the comment i will uh, if it requires a little bit more explanation you can hit me up over on discord i've got a link to my public discord in the description box below or, um, you know, I can, I can make sure to hit that in the next video that I record from here. So anyway, either, either way, we'll, we'll get your questions answered if you have any. So hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, a like is always appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, think about subscribing. So you are up to date with everything else going on in the channel. That's going to be it for now. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.